This question from a book I have been reading and curious to hear from Asara. Can one genuinely evolve and is it truly spiritual to take refuge in the inner domain of the transpersonal without first doing all that is possible to resolve pressing concerns in the outer domain of the personal, the interpersonal and the collective? Thank you. Thanks, Aisha. That's a, a really deep question. And it's the answer in short, sweet terms is yes and no. So, yes, we can take refuge in the transpersonal because it remains the source of constancy irrespective of the inevitable process we undergo of evolution. However, the no is because oftentimes an individual dissociates from the ongoing phenomenon, reality, that is inevitable that we are part of this evolution. So it can create a schism in spiritual seekers and that means that oftentimes an individual will seek to um, escape and remove themselves from the ongoing realm of phenomenon when in actual fact we actually can't remove ourselves from this because consciousness, the transpersonal and personal, what appear as transpersonal or personal are actually of one and the same phenomenon. They're simply different ends of the spectrum of existence. So why yes is important? Because if we do take refuge in the transpersonal, we begin to reconnect to this. It provides us with a different dimension of awareness of what this phenomenon is. We begin to see it for what it is rather than remain caught in our preconditioned ideas about what it is, which are biased, are rooted in dualistic measures and cause us conflict. So if we have a connection to the transpersonal, we can engage with our ongoing experience of evolution without conflict. We will experience tension because tension corresponds with evolution. Tension is inevitable, conflict is optional. If we take refuge in the transpersonal, we can take the journey of evolution whereby, sure, we experience tension but we are no longer in conflict. Yes, we may experience pain. Again, pain corresponds with evolution. In this realm of phenomenon, the appearance of our material experience, which is the only thing evolving here, in this realm, we have transient experience. What appears as birth and death and in that phenomenon is transition. In that phenomenon we experience what's called pain. If we are divorced from the transpersonal, if we have lost contact with the transpersonal, then we experience suffering. Either way, the journey, the phenomenon, is going to continue. So the only distinction then is a question of pain or suffering, tension or conflict. That's the only distinction. I hope that gives you some reflection on your question, Saisha. She says brilliant. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs>